Dann. Ja. Can I borrow fifteen dollars to buy a book? What happened to your allowance? I spent it already. On what? I don't know. Stuff. Stuff. Well, if you use that money for that book, rather than the shit you decorate your face with, you wouldn't have this problem, would you? Yeah, but this book is for school. For that report I was telling you about. Please, Dad. No. Tony's here. I'm off to school. Okay. Ben already leave for school? Uh, yeah, he left with Tony just now. Why aren't you off to work yet? Well, my meeting's not till 10.30, so I thought I'd take my time and have a good breakfast. Hmm. If you had so much time, then why don't you take Ben to school? He's got a ride. Anyway, I'm sure he'd rather go with his friends than he would with me. You know, Jim, I'm starting to worry about our son. He mopes around all the time and he says some very strange things. Uh, it's a phase. He's been like this for months. I mean, you know what he needs is a father that he can talk to. He's got one. I'm not so sure. You two never say more than three words to each other. I mean, he's obviously going through some tough times, whatever it may be, but he needs his father to comfort him. Well, so I'm the bad guy here? You know, I'm not the one putting metal objects in his face. Let him listen to that god awful music. Are you implying that I am? No, of course not. But you do let him hang with those friends of his. We're both his parents, Angela. You're so concerned about him, then you talk to him. I do. But what I say doesn't matter because he doesn't look up to me. I mean, he obviously looks up to you, or else he wouldn't be so afraid of you. Well, I have to leave for work. That seminar's this weekend, and I'm leaving tonight. Will you be home before I go? Probably. Well, if not, I'll see you Sunday. I think you're making a mistake. No, I'm not. Come on, this can't be the only way. It is for me. You don't think you're overreacting? I'm doing the only thing to make this problem go away. I'm telling you this is a bad idea. If I hear you say that shit again, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm sorry, it's just... I don't like this plan. It doesn't affect you, so you shouldn't care. Like hell it doesn't. 
You're my best and only friend. I just don't think this is the best way to go about it. I appreciate concern. But I know what I'm doing. There's nothing you can do to talk me out of it. Ben, what the fuck are you doing? Dad, I fucked up real bad. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh my god. What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. This isn't all my blood. <laughs> what do you mean it's not your blood? Well, not all of it. It's just that, well... Shit, Dad, I fucking killed somebody tonight. <laughs> what do you mean you killed somebody? Well, me and Tony went to the park and... Went to go buy some crack and this... This guy thought I was ripping him off, so he pulled out a knife and I snapped. I just, I tackled him to the ground and started beating his head in with a rock. And when Tony finally pulled me off, he wasn't moving more and he was covered in blood. We got him wrapped up in a couple of trash bags and brought him here. Oh no, dude, Dad, I'm so fucking scared. What do you mean you brought him here? The body, Dad, it's downstairs. Jesus, why'd you bring him here? I know where else to go. Please, Dad, you gotta help me. Jesus. Well, we can't have him lying around here. All right, look, this is what we're gonna do. Tony, my car keys, they're on the table. Get my keys, open up my trunk. Ben, listen to me. Listen to me. I want you to help Tony put the body into the trunk. What are you gonna do? Go up back and I'm gonna get the shovel. Okay, well now that we've all calmed down, you want to tell me how this shit got started? I don't know where to begin. Well, for starters, why were you buying crack from a dealer? Come on, Dad. No, I want to know why. Well, it eases my pain. Pain? What kind of pain? I don't know. I just want to get fucked up. Especially today. Especially today? What happened today? Flunked out of high school. You what? You flunked out of high school? How did that happen? I've been doing shitty all year and my teacher gave me one last chance. I had a book report to do. I didn't get done in time and she said if I had the book she'd give me an extension but... You didn't have the money for the book. So when I show up to class she said there's nothing else she can do and she failed me. Which is the last possible class I can fail and as of today I flunked out of high school. But why the drugs? They don't solve anything. They do for me. No, oh, you only think they do. That shit is poison, Ben. I just like the way it makes me feel. I don't have any problems when I'm high. Besides a good escape from the shit I get at home. Oh, and what's that? Neglect. Neglect? What are you talking about? 
Your mother and I don't neglect you. Dad, what's my favorite movie? What? My favorite movie, what is it? Your favorite movie? Well, that, uh... What's my favorite band? Your favorite band? Or what's even my favorite food? I don't know, Ben. What are you getting at? The Evil Dead, Rob Zombie, and Corn Dogs. I watch that movie every other day. I listen to that band every day, and that snacks in the cornerstone of my diet. If you've even paid the slightest bit of attention, you know those off the top of your head. Drugs just make the sadness go away.